Hey, this is Daniel. I'm here in my studio with Seth. And uh, we had done some shots a while back with this big LED panel when Mark Wallace came to visit. And it's a pretty cool light. I thought we'd do some more stuff with it today. Yeah, it's very unique. And I think there's so much more we can do with it. And I'd love to see what we can do with some motion. Yeah, it was really cool. We, we, we made a couple of portraits there, but like the ideas were just coming out after. So I think that we can just kind of play around and see what we get. Yeah, we're going to get some crazy stuff today. Cool. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah, let's go. Oh yeah. Look at the necklace fly. Oh, that's interesting. Bang, bang. Yeah, the necklace. Go. Oh. Oh, cool. Yes. That's good timing. That's great. She's gonna be all dizzy. Oh! Ah, yes. That's pretty cool too. This turned out to be a pretty cool shot. We uh, ended up using all kinds of fun stuff, fog, uh, movement of the model jumping with a multiple pop in the rear. And we had a certain idea, right? We had the light set up kind of in the back to add this kind of cool flare, but we were getting so much light bouncing around that we had to move stuff around a little bit to get them in a position that would be more appropriate to not get the light where we didn't want it. Yeah, anytime we have long shutter speed, all bets are off and you have so many other factors to deal with, light coming in from all the sources that you didn't even think about. So we need to do a ton of things, including changing the model's wardrobe, just to even get her skin to reflect more light than we needed, show motion. Right, exactly. And we threw a silk over the, the LED here. There was no other way to control it. Sometimes you're going to have that situation where there's a light that doesn't have any controls. We just threw a silk over it, knocked down the exposure. We had turned on the total light up here to give us a little bit fill. It's a different color temperature, but it looked really cool against the skin tone. Yeah, I think it made the skin tone pop a little more, being warm, and her skin was warm. It showed a lot of good motion. I think we had a very successful shot, considering the amount of elements in this. Yeah. And it was kind of just fun, you know, having her jump through here and seeing all the different expressions and a little frustrating because you're like, great, except for that. But then when you get one that's really nice, you're just like very happy with it. Yeah, I think we just kept on not giving up. And I think that's the key is to keep on knowing that you can add something, you can subtract something and you'll get tighter and tighter every time. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. All right, let's try one more. Let's go to the next one. Go. So just messing around, we got some really unique test shots, kind of Leonardo da Vinci style with the multi-pops and the Toda ambient. But we want to really freeze her face and polish this up a little bit. So we're going to have Dan hold a strobe and he's going to hold it right over her face, right out of frame and just snap. And we're going to get a nice frozen face on her. In theory. Instead of her doing it, what if Dave tosses it over to somebody else over here? So we were playing around with the third setup, which was actually the idea we had had on the original day, which yeah. just wasn't working. It just, you know, it just didn't look as cool as we thought it would. And then as we were breaking down, Seth decided, hey, hey, let me try something. And you know what? That's how we got the last shot. So what exactly are you doing here? Yeah, since we were already using rear sync, we are giving, we have the ability to really stretch out our exposures. So by framing her up and then hitting the exposure to open up my shutter, I had all the light coming in through the LED panel. While I zoomed out, 
which led it to these streaks looking like it's really forcing you through that lens. Uh, then the flash snaps, making our second exposure, freezing our model. So what we have is a double exposure in one shot. Yeah. Basically. And it's a pretty cool technique, just using a zoom lens and a long exposure with the rear curtain. That's kind of important to get your subject to be really sharp. Right. Yeah, it's a really simple thing you can do. And if you have a zoom lens of any quality, you can do whatever you got. Yeah, cool shot. Oh, this is awesome. I had a lot of fun. All right, thanks, man. Thanks a lot. Peace.